recording again. Uh, all right. Uh, Verandas lands. He, he's not levitating anymore. All right. Okay. Roar, I, can't, I suggest you keep your mouth talking to a minimum. Don't want to insult them. We will leave the talking to you, Kyle. Alright. <clears throat> Assuming that's the wisest choice. Let's set this up there. Right? Uh, are we good to go, Doom? Yeah, we're good. I'm recording. I'm set up. Okay. I was just wondering. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, go out. And uh, I'm gonna put my hands in the air. As if to say, don't shoot us. They, uh, aim, the guy aims his gun towards you, just not in the violent way, at least for the now. And Rital and Verandas do the same. Okay. I imitate them. Okay. I just wave, like, a hello, being a little good and all. Uh, uh we mean he no. shoots at the ground, uh, next to Aurora. <laughs> Keep your attitude in check. Aurora, come here. Uh, we mean no harm. We just want to get our ship away from this space Hulk thing. We're just rogue traders. He slowly starts like walking towards you guys. Or he sh I don't want to say he. Fucking 90% of the space marines are he. You mean 100%? <laughs> yep. Well, sorry. I don't. What the fuck are they called? The. That sisters uh, battle? The Primaris? Sisters or... battle. Yeah. Sisters, sisters no, battle. they're not space marines. They're just really good humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I realized. I, I figured. I realized. <laughs> okay. He kind of meets you mm -hmm. halfway. I'm a member of the Imperium of Man. And these are my associates. You said you're a member of the Imperial Man? Uh, Imperium of Man, yes. I am. Hello. Hello. Does that sound okay, by the way? The space marine yeah. voice? Yeah. yeah. It's okay. It sounds yeah. good so far, yeah. <laughs> what do you want, Xeno scum? I'm not a Xeno, I'm app human. I've been tested. All the same. Prove it. If uh, you can. If you want some of my blood for testing, you can. Otherwise, I can recite some scripture. Zulu, don't you know his medical... Take this knife and check... And so I can see. Uh, is he gonna like throw he it tosses, over? He toss. Yeah, he to he tosses you a knife. Oof. All, right. All right. And I'm going to take it in my hand and. Well, uh, I'm gonna do my best to take off part of the EVA suit with just my uh, glove, and then stab it with it. Right. Set my hand that is with uh, the knife. Is it is it red blood? What is it? I it's it's gonna be red, red blood, blood, yes. Gonna be red blood. Okay. He like slightly lowers his gun. Uh uh by the way, let me roll how much damage you take. Uh one D take two damage. Alright, uh damage? Okay. Oof. <sighs> Though you may be part of the Imperium of Man, maybe. What of your cohorts? Uh, well, they are allies, uh, kind sir. May I ask what you have there? Uh, on yeah, the dolly. points to the uh, dolly. 
Uh, it seems that uh, some of your brothers didn't quite survive. I figured that they could be better used elsewhere. Would you like them? No, they mean nothing to us now. However, it does slightly discourage me seeing my own brother's arms be taken away from them. You know, graves should stay where they lie and such. Ah, uh, but Sonorable we could give them a proper burial, couldn't we? And that's gonna be a persuasion. <laughs> Veranda just kind of looks at Cal. Yeah. Roll that persuasion, my dude. Oh no. Shit. You're not doing that persuasion, my dude. Yeah, I am not. I would appreciate it if you hand me that Terminator stuff. Though it must either that or get rid of it. Off the side. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna put the the bolter and the helmet off to the side then. Uh, he very, oh, before he um, right before you throw the gun away, he kind of like he says, "Don't put the take the gun." Like he just, it was just the helmet he wanted. To okay. okay. Guns are different because anyone can grab a gun. It's more All of right. like your armor is your armor sort of thing. All right. All right. So. Uh, helmet's off. Helmet's At least he'll be with the down below in the chapel's depths. Glory to the Imperial. <sighs> Emperor guide him. I can't help but notice your friends are not chanting around with us. Do they not believe in the Imperium? Uh... Well, Are they chaos scum? Hold on. Hold up. Where's... <laughs> yes. Would it be persuasion or deception? Are, are you my ally? He's noticing you aren't <laughs> saying anything. Like, <laughs> help, okay. like saying... Saying, like, the alliance of Imperium of Man and stuff like that. Like the chance they do. Oh, okay. I only met you yesterday. No. Oh. Did... Oh, yeah. It would it be pers persuasion or deception? Uh, what are you, I okay, guess specifically for what? what like, because Enrital was gonna ch chime uh, up saying, "Glory to the glory to the Imperium." I'm gonna say performance, but that's me. It'd be performance, performance. yeah. <laughs> 100% agree performance. Hey, you're right. fine. All right. Yeah. He knows. Glory he knows to the Imperium. Tried. <laughs> he's he's a little disappointed, but he he realizes you at least tried. Really, only one. You'll have to forgive me. I was literally born yesterday, and I do not I do not understand the ritual. Uh, machine spirit. Don't mind them. Ah, I see. Interesting. Pray tell, where was he created? Uh, we don't know. We just found him, uh, aboard our ship, sir. Uh, we took care of some abominable intelligence, and he's what's left of it, but he wasn't directly a part of it. So considering you've reached here, I can only assume you destroyed most of the Xeno scum? Most. We took out the biggest one. Forgive us, uh, we do not have your strength. I see. It's still impressive that you're able to take that many, even though I could probably take that many with just my fists themselves. All right. I should at least take you to my chapel master. I'll trust you for now. But any signs? Also, only those that have praised the Imperium can come. Both of you, all of you, rest of you, stay at the edge. <sighs> all right. 
kind of nah, backs I'm just up. Gonna keep going. Yeah. Keeping the gun pointed at not you, but like the other everyone else. Uh, while we're gonna, while we go, I'm gonna just make a perception around the room we're in. Uh, you see that it's been heavily defended. Like it's it's gone through onslaught after onslaught. Like there's just litters of bodies on the floor, like on the sides, like over the sides. Like just 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 like piles and upon piles. And clips after clips all over the place. You notice that they are, uh, that you see some guns on the floor that weren't, that like, uh, have looked like they've run out of ammo. Hmm. Or have been absolutely destroyed and are in complete dis dis disrepair. Hmm. You notice a few bodies of fellow, uh, space marines? <coughs> but not too many, and most of them seem like they died to, uh, very grotesque runes. Oof. Gonna keep on going. When I said edge, I meant the edge of this carpet here. Hmm. You didn't put your voice. When I said edge, I, ju edge, I said I meant the edge of the carpet here. He, oh. He, he says that really far away. Oh, is he referring to the rest of us as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was referring to the rest of you guys. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah. Gotta adjust the screen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go. I'll get there eventually. Hooray! There we go. Verandas is still holding his hands up, by the way. Uh, you can put them down. If they wanted to kill us, they would have already done it. Silently puts his hands down. <laughs> what is this disgusting scum here? <laughs> Sir. It seems we have some surf people who have uh, been attacked by the ship. I don't think that this sort of thing should even exist. What are you even? He's staring uh -huh. at the uh, uh, fairy person. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. The little girl? Yep. Staring the little girl? Uh, I'm just gonna get on one knee and look down to the ground. Uh, and tall mimics. Uh, well, Aurora, you heard me. How many kill? kills, Aurora? Oh, how many we killed? Uh, we killed four, five, I think. Five, ten. Oh wait, six, seven. There are two others fell off on the side, but I don't know if we should count those. We killed the biggest one. Ten, and collectively we killed the one of the bigger ones. Petty kills, but considering your equipment, I guess it's not too shabby. The Emperor protects, sir. The Emperor protects. The Emperor protects. Indeed. Ah. I'm noticing your cohorts did not agree to that. As I said, I, I, I was literally born yesterday. You will have to forgive me. I grew up in a forest with only 40 other kids. I don't know anything you're talking about. Well, excuse me, robots, machine thing. I did not, thought I was not in this conversation of what you speak of. I am the chapter, oh, chapter master. 
Oh, my apologies. I you lose standby mode. I'm gonna, gonna try to give him a look, a uh, glaring look, as if to say, "Shut up." Compliant. You. What about you? Why did you not agree to the? Why did you not say Emperor protects? Uh, can I say as what would what would I have to roll for him to say to to not of, offend you? It depends on what you're trying to what? do. You have to like, think of that yourself, man. So, okay. <laughs> If, I'm just gonna if say, you're going to lie to him, it's going to be deception. Offended. If you're going, if you're going to appeal to his sense of thing, you're going to do uh, like a persuasion. But it, there's there's many different things you could do, my dude. Unfortunately, I can't help you. Uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm not just going to tell you exactly what you should say. Okay. Uh, so appearing very much kind of frightened he's he's, he's gonna kind of say emperor protect hmm now you say it did cat catch your tongue before uh in the <laughs> nods <laughs> what little tongue i have Lucky I don't have the bullets to shoot you right now. All right. We could use the manpower at least. How did you all end up here anyway? Uh, as the Hulk was coming out of the warp, it uh, entangled our rogue trader ship. We came aboard just to disengage, sir. The parasite forced us. Very, it's very strange that it even warped in the first place. We were planning on warping it into a nearby sun. We didn't expect it to warp on its own. It must have been some sort of strong psionic energy. Didn't you all, didn't you both say there was something really strong in here? There was. Uh, hold on. Uh, is what would, I, what would I have to roll again for uh, sensing psionic energy? Would it be perception or? Uh, it's either perception or knowledge arcana. All right. Well, I'm not proficient in either, so whatever. <laughs> Fuck. What were you trying to sense exactly? Uh, just. Psionic energy, just like in 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 the area. You feel it like in the air, but overall, it's not like you can't pinpoint it. I can't pinpoint it, but I feel it everywhere. Interesting. I'm not sure what sonic energy our, the ship tracked onto, though. It's more of what I'm wondering. We already know of the psionic disturbance that's been occurring in this ship. Are you aware that's of the parasite? That's why we are planning on destroying it. Hmm. The Tyranid scum? The, par the parasite that's attached itself to your ship. Really? Chaos. <laughs> uh, as soon as it says chaos, I'm gonna spit on the spit on the ground, not on the carpet. Immediately nods back. Hmm. It seems that we may have had a psycho get on board somehow and look for the closest energy, trying to bring hmm. as many tyranids to the to a sonic force. Strange didn't reach the Emperor, though. Hmm. 
Might have been trying. Should mean to be the strongest Sonic B. Uh. <laughs> I I don't know much about Sonic, so I'm not even gonna attempt to make a roll here. I think the plans to uh, the plans the plans are the same. One of us needs to take the warp drive and put it into the put the uh, equipment into the warp drive, so we can s send it send this thing straight into a sun. And the rest of us. Problem is, there's a large amount of tyranids in our way, and we don't really have the manpower to do it by ourselves. As much as I'd prefer not to involve outsiders in our matters, it seems I've acquired it. It would be an honor to serve the Emperor. Uh, Enrital puts his hand to his chest, like, kind of, like, crosses his heart and lights his, uh, his, his blade and to take as many of these away from this world. And send them to the void. He uh, picks up a, well, one of the guns on the ground and throws it at uh, Enritol. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Do I roll a dex and a strength? <laughs> uh, sure. Or is this Imperial Guard size? It's not Imperial Guard size. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you fall over, I'll catch you, buddy. No, what would it? No, it uh, I'm legitimately asking. It would be a deck. See if I catch it in a string. See if I can actually hold yes. it. Yes. 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 Fuck. <laughs> All right. So okay, I'm gonna have to. Do you have trouble holding it? No, no, he's not. It's not that bad. Uh, he's just holding a gun. Uh. You can still carry these things, it's just like, it's a fucking hard time. Uh, so you, can't, you catch it alright, but it's just... But you just have a really hard time holding it. I'll pick your gun up straight, soldier. Unless you feel that you'd rather use something else. I am much more suited to the way of the blade. Ah, I see. Would you like a chain sword? My eyes are gonna light up at the prospect of a chain sword. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna remain silent. With this nut is is my way or not sufficient? And he still has the warp blade lit up. Oh, he has it lit up. I didn't realize. Ah, yeah, he said he did. I didn't notice before. Quite the interesting implement. Alright, well, I suppose that'll work. Give it to one of your other friends, then. Does any of you other, anyone else need a weapon? All I have is this metal whip. Does anyone else need another weapon? <laughs> Thanks. But I am quite adept with what I have. Randus uh, shakes his head. I'm, I'm not sure you would like someone of my kind holding your weaponry. Hmm. Right? I wouldn't. If you do have a spare clip for this bolter here. I might have one, but that's all we've probably got. To give you around 12 shots, or 24, depending on... How much ammo I can find. <laughs> Sergeant. <clears throat> yes, sir. Gather some ammo. We're gonna need it. All right, sir. Oh, all right. Now the question of the question now is firstly how do we get off this 
ship, and if we even can, should it be, should we die in a blaze of glory? You can go with our ship. Our ship is warp capable, sir. And we are severely understaffed. And I'm sure the Emperor would prefer you fight on in his glory. question is, can I have one of my own subordinates go and do this suicide run? I suppose I must. This chapter leader, I need to survive so we can continue on our journey. May whoever it be, the Emperor protects. 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 What did you just say? Did you misspake our... <clears throat> our Emperor's Is name? Is yes. he looking at me? I'm, I'm not certain if I pronounced that right. Emperor... I only grew up with four of the other kids in a forest. Oof. I'm really deciding whether or not he would just fucking punch you right now. It's a little kid. I mean, look at it. If anything, he'll look at it like- You think he gives a fuck? He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Do you think someone like this would give a shit? We have been treading onto eggshells forever. Trust me. Aurora. He's gonna hit you across the face. Oh, he's Ow. gonna actually he's just gonna punch you in the stomach. A little girl, like can he even he'd have to hunch down over on two feet tall. He's like ten feet or something. Do you want yeah, to get away with this in the little damage? <laughs> Ouch. He's not fully putting his thing into it, thankfully. So he's just like flicking his middle finger at me? Pretty much. In the form of a punch, yes. His finger is the size of a whole fist to me from a normal person. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know he did it in the voice. <laughs> yeah, I just realized. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Well, let's clean yourself up. We might have some spare meds available. Other than that, gather what you can and get ready for the fight of your life. It won't be long before those things follow you in here. Consider you probably showed them exactly where to go. If I may say the door completely open. Yeah. I did say we would close the door before that as soon as we started. Oh, you did say we close the door? Yeah. All right, you close. You close the door. Never mind that. Just cancel that line. <laughs> if I may say, the bridge that led to here is broken. Hmm. I see. I punched the console. <laughs> Veranda and Earth and Earth all both turned to roar. <laughs> hey, that's not that uncommon. We break down doors all the time. Could be worse. However, how do we plan to get back to the ship bay? The what? What, what did you say it was, Doom? A uh, the the shaft. A maintenance shaft. Oh yeah. There it was a maintenance. Shaft. It was a maintenance shaft. I doubt I could fit in there, or rather any of my crew could either. Well, we could make some salvage to uh, put a, br a bridge over the gap. I am quite handy with tools. Maybe. Wouldn't have much time, though. I, I work best under pressure, sir. 
really think you can do that before while we're heading out? I could try. All right, you take care of that. The rest of you get ready. For the fight of your life, there's probably going to be hundreds of them, maybe even thousands. And we'll Ritol... corridors. And Ritol stands up and puts his hand to his chest as a salute. We'll have to go through this door. Problem is, it has an activation process that takes quite a long time. <laughs> After that, we'll uh... be able to get a clear shot to the reactor. Which door? Okay. We'll be having to hold them off for that for a long time. But after that, we should be able to, our, one of us should be able to get to clear the uh, warp core directly into the warp drive. Whoever survives, that is. If you all are dead, we might need one of you to push it in. One of you just any one of you agree. If the time comes, I I would glad, gladly leave my life for for the Emperor. As would I. Good. I pronounce you both Rattle Brothers, at least for now. What Thank you, said? sir. This is an honor. He he declares us Battle Brothers. Ah, uh, okay. I am honored. He just walks away after that. Just starts talking to his men and getting to Freddy. He said grab some medical supplies, I believe. Yeah. Good idea, I need to patch up. Oh my god. I, well, uh, I, I didn't say that like in character, obviously. <laughs> It's lucky that both uh, Aurora and Verandas didn't die. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm gonna grab some shit to make a makeshift bridge. Alright. So where are the medical supplies or whatever? You have to find them. Oh shit, I gotta look around. Investigate, was it? Or is it a uh, perception? A larger. You're a bit too small. So is it perception I looked for him, or uh, it would be perception. investigation? Perception, okay. Perception. Also, how tall are they? They're like 10 feet tall. Fucking huge, feet. my dude. <laughs> yeah, they okay, are that, that'd be 10 feet? Easily 10, 10 feet. Yeah. 10 that's their shortest. Okay. The tallest dudes, the Primarchs, are like fucking 13 well, feet. They, they are Primarchs. Just wondering how close they would be to Protoss height, because Protoss are usually like seven and a half or something. Mm -hmm. No, they're, they're much taller than Protoss. Alright. They aren't taller than me! Because <laughs> I'm a space whale. That guy had to be like on it, had to be laying prone down just to flick me. So do I find the medical supplies? Uh, no, you don't. You don't find the medical supplies. Uh, do I at least find a small-sized weapon for a little girl? Little for girl? a little girl, no. There's not going to be small-sized weapons for little no. girls. No. There, there aren't small-sized weapons for us. I mean, I know Tal can barely hold the fucking gun. Like you'd rather... The only thing I could see you actually being able to use is a bolter. Like, not a heavy bolter, like, just a fucking pistol. Ooh. Oh, maybe, maybe last no. gun. I'm guessing Enrital doesn't see anything either. Oh, I didn't see you. Uh, not. What are you looking for? Same thing Maurice was looking for. Oh, medical supplies? No. Hmm. I'm sure there's tons of scrap in here. Oh, yeah, there's just plenty. Okay, uh, I guess I'll roll a couple of crafts then. I don't find anything, I guess. If I can Do find I can... them. Can I try another? Uh, roll over here. Do you require assistance? Uh, one second. Uh... <coughs> Sorry, I was sneezing. Am I allowed to do another roll? Yeah, you can do another roll. 
Please let me find something. Oh! Okay. You are able to find some uh, meds. Oh, rats. What do I get? Like, can I just put it on right now and... What? Do you I roll for heal? It's basically, it's basically fucking steroids. Oh. It's like... Uh... Green juice. Like stuff you just inject. Oops. Super oh. juice. I walk over to the others, like... Hey guys, what do I do with this? Because I wouldn't know what like that three, is. three, by the way. Ooh, three. Three syringes. Ooh, cool. I mean, at least I don't see anything. Oh, sorry, what? I mean, at least Human Rotal doesn't see anything. Uh, no. He's rolled at 8. Okay. I mean, you see tons of guns on the floor, but other than that, guns and ammo. Uh, you see one of the marines starting to, like, uh, set up a barricade. Where the fuck... That's it. Zulu! Yes? Um, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind, that guy just fucking moved it himself. Right. Heavy at all. Zulu, what do I do with these? Hmm. Okay, what should I roll to see what those are? Uh, knowledge arcana. Oh, actually, wait, oh. is there another, like, knowledge something else? Medicine? Uh, well, there's no knowledge there's for medicine, knowledge, but. There's no knowledge for medicine. Uh, roll. Roll what you think would be. It would be either history, one of the other ones. What do you think of okay. it? Fucking god damn it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Arcana. Oh, nice. There it is, jeez. Alright. Having some trouble. This like My picks it up with not... one hand. <laughs> My strength is not that of your magnitude. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my intelligence modifier plus my proficiency, like roll d20. It, does that seem fair for crafting? Is that there's not like sorry, a dedicated what? craft? What was it again, sir? Uh, my intelligence modifier plus my proficiency modifier, and roll d20. Oh, sure. Does that seem fine. That's, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, with the um uh, space wheel, uh, you know that that is re like regenerative um. Like serum, it w it would be able to restore like uh, we restore your uh, body over time. Okay. okay. <clears throat> but still at a rather fast, much faster rate than you normally would be able to. Okay. So out of character, does do these guys know anything about shields or use shields? Uh, yes, they would. Yeah, they would. Some of them do. Yeah, they would not. Jack and Master definitely have some kind of shield. Why? What do you ask? Because both my guys are out of shields. Oh, you mean the plasma shields? Um. Oh no. yeah. So sorry. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Not yeah, I, I knew Woody man. Yeah. And what? Yeah, what I like? They don't. They don't, uh, I, I they don't really. Shields, yeah, they don't really use like plasma shields and stuff like that. It's all physical. All they right. just have, like, just large fucking chunks of armor to protect them. But the chapter masters and some others do have, like, energy shields from specific, That's uh, special equipment. Psyker powers, though. Uh, no, they do have those those halos and those other things that go strap around their back that towers over them. Those do create... Oh, shield. you're talking about... Fuck, that's still, that's still Psyker's power. It's just a different type. Uh, Alex, you're kind of getting behind there. What's that? You're oh, being blocked out. Uh, well, I was crafting the bridge because all of the scrap oh, would sorry. be over here. I'll open. I'm opening it, sir. Yeah. Close you. All right. If this is gonna heal me, then could you do it, uh, Zulu? 
Um, affirmative. Okay. So how how's the serum work? Is it ingested? It's a serum. It's a it's a syringe. So inject. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do I have a needles or something, or is it just a thing? It's a massive fucking needle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I I definitely pick it pick it up then. Uh, I'm a little girl, so that's gonna hurt even worse. Yes, but do, do not worry, for it, for the pain will be quite quick. Although I cannot guarantee its painlessness. Mm. All right, I I, hold I on, um. Hold on, hold on. Aurora, just look at me while he does it. Okay. Okay. Um, Where do you I get hold... the syringe? <laughs> just... um, Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna feel her arm for a vein and, and put it there. Okay. Feel? With <laughs> sausage fingers. I... Oh. Sense. Oh, sense. Oh, sense. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm going to scan for a vein. Well, actually, I know her medical records. I know where her fucking veins are. <laughs> there you go. I. I. Yeah, I, I, I I jab it in there. What? This dude literally takes up half her fucking arm. And you just <laughs> shove it in. It's alright, Aurora. Uh, just let me know. For one second, it actually goes through the other side for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I will need then to adjust that. my sensitivity directives later. And then, uh, and then it starts to heal up. Your body starts to heal up. I think up. you're doing How time, Dulu. I say over my shoulder. Uh, <laughs> what was it? How much HP? Do you have? I have four, but my max is 13. Uh, heal half your max. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Heal half your so max. So what's half of 13 you'll give? Uh, round down? I guess seven. That's seven. So, okay, then I go back up to ten. All right. Oh, wait, then. No, that's, not, that's not the right thing there. There we go. All right. So in that case, I'm not sure what I can do to regenerate shields. I'm pretty sure that's meant to be just a Could once per day. Could spend your time kind of, I don't know, trying to recoup your shields. I guess I'll rest for a bit and do my you small rest to reclaim my uh, my terror point. You took that injection very well. I'll give you a cookie when we get back to the ship. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! No cookie. Uh, would I do a, like a knowledge arcana to see if I can try and see about recouping shields? Uh, no, just like go into a corner somewhere and just like you'll be out of it while everyone else is doing stuff. All right. Both for Anderson and Rital. <laughs> Go over here. Yeah, is that just kind of as me like trying to rest or something? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Uh, uh what about Enrital's runes or Sonic? Are those that, still gone? Okay, they're no, they're still gone. gone. You're focusing kind of, you're pretty much just focusing all your energy into your shields right now. <laughs> okay. Anyone else want to do anything else? Um, um, unless I can me. make another check. Oh. Yeah. So, I was, I was gonna um, approach this guard here. <laughs> Tell me, what what kind of things do you eat? God, what is it called? Uh... Even I don't know the answer to that. No, it's it's a soy mixture. Well, that no, that's the con that's the con civilian. Stuff. Soy boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Sorry, it's not soy. It's like a uh, processed. Like a bar thing. Okay. Um, it's a protein a bar. Nutrient. 
Well, there's a nutrient base, but they can pretty That's much it. eat literally anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they have they have extra stomachs and shit, so. <laughs> yeah, they, they can really just eat whatever. Oh, oh my God, they're. But I, I know that civilian. I know that civilians uh, can. Well, the reason why they have extra stomachs is in case one of their fucking f the stomachs gets cut open, they can still live. Well, that and that they can process basically pretty much anything that could yeah even loosely be considered food. Oh my god. Wow, that is a wide palette. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you were looking for Soylent's Viridians. That's it. So what the... <clears throat> so, what brings you here, Mr. Robot? <laughs> my... As with my friends, our ship was entangled on this ship when, when it came out of warp. Why do you... come with them? Well, they were with me when I gained sentience, and I suppose I have a connection to them. Uh, do I hear this while I'm working on the ship, uh, on the bridge? Yeah. Okay. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a, a marine from the hood. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, well, you. I guess you could say it's a mutually beneficial situation. He keeps us alive, and he wants to feed us. Indeed, that is that one my my one passion. Like... That's like you got a good machine gun. I think it would. Thanks, Hank okay, We were lucky when we came across Zulu. You came across Zulu? Uh, it's a long story. Uh, we were fleeing a planet and we commandeered a ship. Xenos were taking it over and uh, we destroyed an abominable intelligence planet. I was unused to controlling a ship at the time. I'm, I'm finding it slightly easier as time goes on, and I presume I will get even better. Interesting, interesting. So what do you guys you record... do? What are you guys up to, anyway? Well, uh, not much of anything right now. We only just left orbit when the ship uh, entangled itself around us. Oh yeah, but there were those two girls. Uh, actually, Zulu, could you communicate with the ship to check up on them? Compliant. Okay, well, what are they doing? What, like two burritos? Alright. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I will answer that question after this, I guess. My slavers need, need breeding, breeding stock. stock. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of what they are in Warhammer 40k. Uh, so, as we head back to the ship. I guess you can call them uh, Duchess of Minas Rodham, but. I'm gonna head back to the ship real quick. Uh, okay, we're back on the water. ship. Uh, you can, uh, you can go ahead. They're just having a rave or something. A single person w rave while the other just sits in the corner. <laughs> yeah. No, they're playing uh, Call of Duty. Notice... You see that they're kind of like. Uh... Oh fuck! Is this attached to the little map layer? Shit. Are they eating right now? Uh, where was the cat? I don't remember the cat fairy. Was kept here. Shit. I don't remember where we put the cat here. Do you remember? Uh. 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 Uh.
guess so. Shift's bar and stage. Oh, it's probably over here. Yeah, it'd be here. Probably. Oh, uh, and stage. Right. Ooh, fun. You uh, see them pretty much just like eating stuff. Uh, you notice that Cyrus looks very bored. And it's kind of just messing with the glass. Io just it's kind of just staring there blankly. Okay. <laughs> the two females are enjoying some leisure time at the bar. Although I can tell that they probably would wish to be doing something else. At least one of them. Well, at least they don't they don't even know how dangerous this is right now. Oh, by the way, uh, you notice that uh, Cyrus is seeming to like glow larger. Like you notice, like psionic levels seem to be increasing more than the out outweigh hmm. of the sonic decreasing. And like you can actually sense this because you've got that like a built-in radar for that. Okay. There is also some. Something going on with the other female. Large amount of psionic energy. As a she must be a psycho, damn. She must be. I detected this earlier, although it seems larger now. Anyway, do you require a meal before we begin? Nope. Well, let me know uh, when you do. Would you be able to even make me make me a meal right now? If there's any kind of food substance anywhere, or anything similar to it. I see. There happens to be no food substances unless you can use bodies, I suppose. From what I can tell, most people do not find that tasteful. So probably not. Yeah, Alright, are, are we back in... here? Yep. Alright, I just came back to the bathroom. Okay. Nothing too important I missed? Uh, well, one of the girls is uh, has a lot of psionic energy coming off of her, and I just said that it's increased from before. Oh, Cyrus, okay. the, uh, the bitch. Yeah, I remember. It's increasing even further, though. And it's out, starting to outweigh out. the... the drain. Mm. So, so did he say any of this out loud, or what? Oh, he was talking to... I'm talking to this boy. Yeah. yeah. He said, uh, pretty much said that, like, they were increasing. But I matter. didn't mention the drain yet, though, did I? Oh. Ah, shit. <sighs> Wasn't sure that was necessary at the time, but yeah, okay. Okay. So, we're there? It's like, wait, you didn't tell me they were psychers. It was not important information at the time, I felt. Psychers are always important information, Zulu. I did not know that. I will keep that in mind for the future. But only one of them is a, it seems to be the psychic one. The other seems to be a drain that is keeping her in check. Although it should be noted that her current power levels is, is, is outweighing the drain. Uh, would so in 40k terms, would Protoss be considered psychers? Yes. Yes, they're basically like Eldar. They're they're pretty much all psychic. Okay. 
and our psyker is just like abominable con considered abominable by uh people? no depends on who you're asking not necessarily i mean they technically use they... psychic even their even the emperor of man was the most powerful psyker of humanity he's well, the most powerful psyker in the world in the universe i mean he's the reason why tyranids came okay uh Pretty much, uh, if you f if uh, mankind finds any psychers, they're either put into uh, the navigators or, or uh, sacrifices for the golden throne, or in very rare cl cases, used uh, as weapons. But if only if they're really really good. Yeah, with the um, with the what do you, what do you mean? So the golden throne is they literally use up their own like body and psychic energy. Yeah. yeah, a thousand or souls are sacrificed to the Golden Throne every day. Mm -hmm. So they don't they don't particularly have a problem with psychers? Uh, it depends. They're, they're well, they're basically mutants. So, okay. like, they will sometimes just freaking like. There's this. There's literally a legion of psychers that are just like mind controlled psychotic killer things like there's just a squadron of that so yeah they'll they'll pretty much use them however the fuck they want yeah so they're just assets then all right yep well assets and or threats because any psyker is a portal to the warp which means chaos gods which means demons oh, which boy. means exterminatus <laughs> Are we good? I, but I barely know any of this in character. I'm re I'm still resting right now to regain my terror point. I'm trying Did to I get that yet. I'm oh. trying to regain shields. Well, is it a short rest or a long rest? It's a short rest. It's a short rest. rest. Then no. Even though it's just to regain one point. Yeah. No. And even though he's trying to regain one point. I mean, we can look at the. Uh, Class list, but uh, it's not looking good. You get a uh, half your shields back, by the way, Lady. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, do you want me to make another roll to craft, or am I good? I think you're fine. Roll one more time, but. Okay. Are you trying? Are you setting this up like where? Are you just like getting prepared, all the stuff prepared to do it, or? Uh, well, I'm making the I'm making the bridge. So what I'm using is uh. The spent casings that are out over there from the bolters, I'm using them as uh, as wheels to put onto the board so I can push it towards over there. Okay. And then I, I would basically and I would basically just push it over the uh, the gap to serve as a makeshift bridge. Okay. You're like waiting to do this, or are you just gonna go? Oh uh, well, no, I, I'm doing it right now. I'm just waiting to push it. Okay. And uh, well, um, are we going in that direction to do that, or anywhere? Well, that's that's where they're more than likely gonna come in. All right, so we're not going in there. Uh, no, we're going in here, but it has a lockdown. It's in lockdown procedure. Okay. Uh, so well, lockdown procedure. All right. Well, as soon as I can, then I will move the bridge out uh, over that way. But considering that. This is the best place to get scrap. I might as well build it closest to it, you know? Yeah. So, what it basically, that this is the, when they activate this, it's gonna just alert everything. Yeah. Is the idea. <clears throat> Are y'all ready? Are all of you ready? <sighs> it's not exactly right. five star, but I think this will work. The longer we wait, the more they grow. I can't even imagine how many fun effects they have now. Well, they did. Run, one of the big ones did run over a bunch of their own, so they're probably recovering. Actually, fun. Um, well, 
from the regular uh, class, not the variant. You can gain them after a short rest. Uh, you are gaining terror points equal to your charisma uh, fire, minimum one after you finish a short rest. There you go. Yeah, so I regain my one point. Hooray! And you regain all of them after you finish a long one. I knew it. Ah. Hooray. I can still do one strike here if I need to. All right. I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, shit. What were... Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> A few ten are worth almost nothing. Small one. Uh, Plus the two... The Tyranid, like the Zerg, are many in number. Their smaller units mean nothing. Taking down a nothing Conifix. compared to the larger scale. Taking down a Conifix will hurt them quite deeply, but they have many, many more. So we chose to hold out here. As well let's hope, as let's hope, the let's hope the missing one will make it up. Sorry, go ahead. Let's hope that missing one. Difference? Oh, let's hope that missing one will make that much more of a difference. All right. All right. I think I'm just about ready to roll out this bridge, and. I'm gonna try to get it out of the way of the uh, barricade, so they can push it together. I guess they would just push it directly onto the bridge, or...? Alright, so... When I was making this bridge, it was my understanding that we were going that way. Okay. Well, that's, so that's gonna be why, the way out. there's a gap. That's, they, right. You're gonna have to go... You're gonna eventually have to go that way, but... Alright, so I, well, I'm moving... Okay. So. so, if we're eventually gonna go out that way, I'm gonna move it out to the side, so it's gonna be, like, right here. It's gonna be ready to be pushed down the corridor. Okay. But it's not going to be in the way of the barricade, so that the marines can shoot over it. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yep. Yep. All right. Activate this sequence to open the gate. Yeah, it's over and activates the sequence using some. Uh... Special seems like a special code. Hmm? You're like large, loud alarm blaring and such. And then he heads back, and you start hearing like just, just screeching at everywhere, all around you, just like legions upon legions upon legions. It's like the director has something to hoard. <laughs> and the first thing you see is that the like entire. The door gets sh thrown down. Oh my! And it's what a is monster! That? Mm -hmm. What do you call that ugly thing? Carnifex. Carnifex. Oh, I think it was Zeno Carfax. <laughs> that a Carfax? Show me the Carfax. Show me the Carfax. <laughs> They kind of seal off the barricade real quick. Alright. So, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna have everyone roll initiative and then the 
It's gonna kind of like be a wave thing. All right. At least you're not me in general. <laughs> Too bad you're not me. <laughs> you're a fucking crayon in this shit. I know. <clears throat> and it means nothing. <laughs> oh, damn. It means That's nothing. That's why he's the chapter I'd much rather have it when it's electrical. Uh, all right. So you see the chapter master. What looks like he's just gathering power. Turn down the volume a little. Ooh, that's awkward. It's okay. <laughs> I know it's how fun. you feel. <laughs> Uh, how are you going to handle uh, measurements here? Because this is 30 feet. It's just it's exactly as it seems. Okay. Okay, so, uh, going on, uh, can I actually see over the barricade? Ah, uh, yes. Alright. Uh, using my targeting computer, uh, I'm gonna see if there are any, uh, unchecked explosives around there, so it's basically gonna be a perce uh, perception. Alright. In the, uh, hallway. Uh, skills, though. Uh, you notice that there is an explosive here, here, and uh, here. Alright. All right. Everyone, there are explosives to right there, there, and there. If they get close, try to fire at them. Yeah, I'll link them. Yeah. I'll put like a little thing there. Um, yeah, that'd be my turn. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Even, uh, Even if I were to fire, there would be, like, no point. <laughs> he takes a ready action. Okay. Same with Enratol. I mean, you can't really do much right now. Alright, what's your ready action, then? Uh, well, sec the se second anything gets within 30 feet of the barricade, Varendis uh, is going to fire at them. Because that's his range. Hmm. So... If only you had a 600 foot range! <laughs> <laughs> right, so they're, the marines are also setting up. I can't do anything, so... Nope, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I can't do anything either. I'm all close range. Alright, no worries, guys. My, my long range flood. was used on the Carnifex. It's fine, yeah, so you can use the flood, so... Oh, shit.
Oh my. Copy paste, copy paste, copy paste. <laughs> copy paste or I'll see more. Oh my. Copy pasta. Oh Jesus. There's at least five of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There's more. But there is at least five. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and there are those ones. Uh, Jeff Master. Far away there. He's still prepared. He's still pre basically for setting up. Alright. So. Um. I guess to get a better shot, uh, I will go over here, and I'm going to attempt to fire upon, uh, that... Explosive right there. All right. Oh, one second. So you're oh, able to you. actually hit it, and you hit the explosive. I he isn't thrown off balance this time around, but it does do a lot of damage. You can see like part of his, most of his uh, leg is gone. But it's like using its own like claws to walk. Suck on that, Xeno scum. Ah, uh, Uh, again, <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for the thing to get close enough. All right, Space Marines start opening fire. Oh no. Oh no. One of them uh, misfires and kind of hits the explosive uh, in the front. Like we're getting rid of it. Alright. Alright, alright. Space will. Mm, I can't really do anything. Uh, so you see this, the chapter master set up to cr create this like giant storm overhead. It starts to hit them in certain areas. I know what I want to do, but... What does it say? That's serious. Just as it's a deck save. <laughs> Whatever, uh, I'm gonna get uh, up close, right there. And I'm going to fire breath. Alright. So it's a 15 foot cone. And it's a deck save. A deck save equals 8 plus my constitution plus my proficiency. There we go. So 8 plus my constitution, which is 3, plus my proficiency is 2. So that's going to be a 13. Ooh. That definitely doesn't, he doesn't, definitely doesn't make that. 
Alright. It's a good thing nits are weak to fire. Alright. 2d6 on a fail save. Wow. That is above average. Right, so that is average. <laughs> it's a burns. Oh, sorry, you rolled. Um, my bad. Yeah, you, yeah. Oh, it'll, you'll go with yours. Uh, so okay. it it recently burns the uh, legs of it and starts to like kind of some of the some of its body kind of coagulates because sheer the sheer heat. And, but you can still see it like just starting to use its front two um, claws still to just start wailing. Any uh, idea of, like, if it's near death or not? I did say it was starting to coagulate. <laughs> it's uh, legs were starting to put on. And it's also missing some other legs. So take also, that how, you will. also, how tall is this thing? About... Um, I would say a building and a half. They are basically organic tanks. Ultra. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so. Brandis shoots out. They both of will. Fuck. I would, I'm gonna add the fact that this thing's fucking huge to the hit. So you do push it back a little bit onto its back. Yeah. And it does like. Kind of like. I was. In, I was also, I was aiming straight for its face. Oh, are you? Uh, then it, like, you, like, knock its head back, but it digs its claws in and just kind of keeps going. So, 4.5 meters at its highest point. I don't know how long it is. Well, depending on the size, it could actually get a, a negative A on the mod, on its AC. Again, 5th edition doesn't do that. Ah, right, right. Alright, so... This thing's so legs are... 15 feet tall. This thing's legs are pretty much gone? Yeah. How low is its head to the ground? Uh, pretty low. Like, it's it's a little bit higher than the barricade. Alright. Uh, Enrental is gonna jump in and stab at its face. Ooh, bold move. Alright, uh, roll a you... reflex. Reflex? Yeah. Uh, is that just a deck save? Yeah. Yep. You're fine. Alright. And just roll for hit now? Yeah. Alright. Uh, is that 12? Yeah. That doesn't pierce its armor, sadly. You kind of like, your blade starts to go through its head, but it just like, it doesn't fully go through. And it kind of, it doesn't embed, but you just like immediately take it out. And you're kind of like All on right. top of the thing. Yeah. Oh, let me put that below. There you One of them, like, fully blows into the thing, cutting off more of its body and, like, just goo- like, blood just goes all over the fucking place. Then... It seemingly starts to fall down a bit. Sorry, I'm, uh, I'll roll damage in a sec. Just seeing how many. <coughs> It's noticeably like it's it's having a harder time getting up. Well, this thing seems to be within range if I want to attack. Yep. I go in for a whip attack from here. Give me a moment. All right, please let me hit. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, it hits. Sorry. <laughs> I was uh, looking at it. 
All right. Were you listening, or were you distracted by the woman in the red dress? <laughs> so where do you whip it? I go for. Uh, hmm. Is this thing still standing, or oh, oh I can I also? It's on the ground. Yeah. Is the, is, is one of its arms like? Ooh. ooh its arms like, the only. Th- uh, its arm arms are the only thing that are there. Aside from its face, which I try to go around for one of the wrists, like tear at it and tear it. All right, its torso still. It's uh, yeah. Uh, so you try to do what, Maurice? Around one of those wrists and hoping to cause a lot of damage to make it a useless claw or whatever. All right, so you pull it, pull off the thing, and it just kind of like falls down, uh, dead. Yeah. All right. Giant body now. Alright, Spicel? Giant flaming gooey fight. <laughs> so is it dead? Yeah, it's dead. Okay. Alright! Alright, Glenn? Okay. Uh, not sure what else I can do then. Well, there's, Glenn, there's you, hear some, you hear some of the door over here starting to, like, get very hit really really hard which door over here behind you the one that isn't the door get really hard as we're trying to open it it really hard you can hear it like you you see it's a it's a southern uh you can see you see some claw marks going through the door oh Um, that's pretty far away yeah you could inform us Okay. There. The door in the butt to the south is getting breasted through. Ah, oh, shit. Right. I'm the. Uh, I'm just gonna go here and take a defensive position. <laughs> I sure as hell can't run over there, so. Alright, you see, like, them starting to just climb the body. And, like, slowly starting to climb the body with air. Emeritol, uh... Do you see this? Uh, do you want to do anything? Uh, you can get a reaction action right now. Uh... Are any of them actually able to attack me? No, they're focusing on climbing. Okay, uh... Are any of them are actually in range for me to attack? Yes, at least two. Alright. I go to attack at least one. Alright, you cut that thing down to ribbons and it just falls apart on the spot. Alright. Uh, you notice the chapter master starting to set up another massive spell. Uh, Cal, Alright, uh... Do I notice this guy poking through? Uh, yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna try to take a pot shot at him. For his stupid-looking face. Okay. <laughs> you cut its face massively, and it's just like you can see this giant scar through its entire face. And you can just see its teeth right. in through the scar. Uh, Verandas. Uh. Okay, so I know Verandas can levitate. How how much are you gonna allow him to go off the ground? Uh. Like we'll enough say... that I can take enough that I can take pot shots of the things behind. We'll this say body. for this time, because of the psyker, you're kind of absorbing his essence as well, so you're you can go far higher up than normal. Okay. Well I go up to where I can get a good shot at this thing. 
and fire a bolt of will. God fucking! Fire a bolt of will. <sighs> Which one? Huh? Which are you trying to hit? This thing? This uh, it, it easily dodges it. It probably hit like a bunch of nits behind him though, so. Yeah, go. it probably hit some of the nits. Considering how many there is. Alright, uh, Amrithal? Alright. Amrithal jumps off and, uh, takes a defend- tries to take a defensive stance for anything that's gonna come- come at- come by. Okay. Uh, the marines start firing again. Uh, one of them brings out- a heavy flamer and starts like Ooh. just blazing Ooh. the whole damn thing. Let's see if he actually hits anybody. Actually. <laughs> oh my wow! He just puts it on the ground in front. He doesn't actually hit anything. Maybe it's something, I guess. At least prevents them from moving up there. Miss. One hits. He kills a, a line of Tyranids right there. And then last one. Ooh. Oh! He ends That's up the second time. <sighs> uh, the same up... guy, too. That is the same guy. Uh, he ends up missing horridly and just... He actually makes it a... A little bit of a, um... Trying to find an object that would work for it. Uh, God kind of damn it, like Reynolds. An alternative path. <laughs> like, because the ceiling kind of. He accidentally hit the ceiling and it, it creates, like, this kind of chain reaction. No, you fool! This wouldn't happen if Cyphus King, hero of the Imperium, were here. <laughs> There's nothing real I can do. There's a wall of fire blocking me off, so... Nope. Oh, there's this. Oh, I guess I could rush up, rush over to, to help just in case. Also, you can fly. Yeah. Uh, what's your range? Who's? Murray's. Oh, my range? With my whip, it's just five feet. But I still have my one terror point, so I can stop a horde of them if I need to. Okay, I'm good here. I'm doom. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's whale time then. Whale time! That's how you're doing. That is true. Alright. Uh. Same orders as before, just defensive. There's not much okay. else I can do right now. Uh, okay. two big guys breach through the back door. I'm probably the only one I'd be able to fire at them. Whoops, sorry. I meant to measure. You see them... Some of them just kind of running oh, into the sure. fire and just dying. Other ones being a bit more hesitant. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, front. That one falls off. <laughs> no, uh, this one starts to uh, cross the path. Uh, roll a reflex, um, race. This guy's also gonna roll a reflex. Yeah. Right, isn't it? That'd be dexterity to me, so. Oh! Shit. Or 
right, so you're actually the able to, on the other foot. You're actually able to hit him strong enough that he actually that you actually like cut him straight in half and he just falls falls into the abyss below. Alright. Another happy landing. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I didn't mean to grab that. I need to make that map player. That's what she said? Then I need to make it oh. the map player? No, that's, I didn't mean to grab that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Chapter Master sets up this. what looks like just like hellfire rain, raining from above. Actually causes one of the explosions to blow up, causing part of the bridge to collapse. All right, Kareff. All right. So did I hear the uh, doors break down? Uh, roll. Listen, sure. Well, yeah. when uh, Zulu said that. Yeah, Zulu uh... did say oh, that. Oh, if he said it, then yeah, you would know. All right. Okay, I would know. So, I'm just gonna say, uh, enemies are back. And I'm going to turn around. I'm going to fire at the closest one. So it'd be that one. Yep. Okay, that hits. Uh, where are you in? I'm hitting with every single. Uh, uh, him, I am aiming for the leg. And so you cut. The Slow leg down. is cleanly shot off. But it's still ra rapidly moving, so... Okay, well, at least it slowed down a little bit. Alright, uh... Erintal moves forward, and bolts of wills his face. His own face? What? Wow. Uh, <laughs> were you gonna hit? <laughs> uh, he hits this thing's face. Okay, so while it's on, already on the ground, you knock it back massively. Fold the wheel. Alright, everything's up. Uh, he, he just stands here and takes a ready action. Okay. Space Marines fire again. Alright. One of them actually does kill at least a line of the guys. What? No, I just burped, sorry. Can't really do anything, so I stay here and wait to react to it. Mm. What is it to take a defense and wait for the enemy to move in range? Right. You can hear what sounds like a clicking coming from the top left. Top left? Yep. Is that door open or still closed? It's clicking. Isn't that the thing we're, we're, that's the thing we're supposed to be defending? Yep. Uh. Alright, uh, space well then? Okay. <laughs> I didn't hear the clicking, I guess, so... No, you would hear um, it. Everyone would have heard that clicking. Super fucking loud. Okay. I have more risk than you, definitely. Okay. Well. Okay, so... Oh no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna stand with my with my knife uh, ready <laughs> and hope okay. to skewer one if they run into me. Someone's amped for a clamping. <laughs> <laughs> you notice uh, some of the turn is actually starting to get over the wall into the thing. Oh shit. Oh no. They're like literally going over the bodies. 
of... Hanging over the fire? Yeah. I mean, there, there's like literally bodies inside the fire that's actually making it easier for them to walk over. <laughs> Uh, Alright, uh, the one that's closest to Kalrith, I swipe at. Oh, wow. Whew. Ooh! So you absolutely oh, should make that fucker. Right. He only takes out one. He, he said he was just gonna swipe? So... I'm swipe at the at this one. one that took out, that was closest to me. Oh, so. sorry. Okay, then yeah, you just take up both. It's fine. Alright. The other ones, however, uh, are gonna at least two of them go after you, and the other ones go after the other guy. Which so one? One hits which? you, and one hits the other guy. I uh, roll a Constitution right. save. Shields. Oh, that's right. But. That is all my sh- oh. <laughs> which one's for him? A six. <laughs> no, uh, which- which of those are- is the 20 and 10 for me? The, um, 20 and 10 is for you, yeah. Okay. Oh no, sorry, the 20 and 10 is, uh, is for the guy at top. And then... Oh, okay, then, uh, they don't- the- so the- 5 and 16. Yeah. Did this not hit? They don't, they, they don't hit. Okay. Well, the other guy gets pretty hard then. Alright. Uh, chapter Master, noticing that the uh, the clicking starts to head over to the uh, thing. Oh, actually, sorry. I didn't do it to the other two units. Yeah, we should start running. To where? Alright. Uh, chapter master. Alright, did that. Uh, Cowarth? Oh boy. Honestly, uh, these guys seem to pose more of a threat than the other ones. So, I guess I'll... Oh, actually, sorry. Uh, before any, before that, sorry, before your turn. Yeah. <clears throat> All of you, fall back to the to the gate. We gotta head. We gotta head in to activate that reactor. Right. So anyway, I was going to uh, do exactly that before you even said that. <laughs> sorry. Okay. And I was going to go as fast as I could to. Where are we off? And then take a shot at the one that's basically almost dead. And actually, no, I'll, t I'll take the healthy one. Because it needs to uh, be slowed down too. S uh, same diff, I'm going for its lick. Alright. You definitely hit. Holy shit. Chris. Uh, <laughs> you knock, uh, apparently, you I'm taking one of you guys' leg. Luck. You easily knock out its leg. Uh, Verandas? Right. Don't, don't worry, my my bad luck is uh, giving you all the good luck. We're gonna run out of ammo at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh... Brandis... Fin try attempts to finish off the almost dead one. Fucking... <sighs> Never mind. Yeah, you said it was on the floor, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Could it be prone? Uh, no. Okay. Sorry. I tried I tried my best. Number tall. Oh. Uh, can I attack and then move? Yeah. Okay. So... I attack the one that's closest to me. Are you 
rip through it. Yeah. And the second attack, I guess we go to the second closest. Alright. You're for that one, too. And then I just start bolting it. Alright. Start so running. Oh, freaking. Marines start, uh, the ones that aren't in, like, melee combat, or start to head back. But are continuing to fire while they can. They actually, oh, are, they actually are able to kill the uh, two ones that are keeping this guy from moving. Nice. He's actually able to move too. Actually, move a little bit farther than that. Just a wee bit. Okay, uh... Aurora? Only three of them attack? Okay, I hit all the way oh, as far as I can. Did it miss? <laughs> That's as far as I can run. Or fly. Or fly, yeah. Or fly, yeah. Spice whale. <laughs> okay. Uh, I believe my... running speed is that... Green ain't big enough for me. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There we go. <laughs> okay. Well, literally, you just see this flood of Tyranids <laughs> just climbing across. Thing. I'm oh, sorry. Right. Oh shit. Just a little bit more. There we go. Just a little bit more. Maybe some happy little tear nits could live over here. <laughs> Everyone needs a friend. <laughs> well, this. Use it. Nah, nah, nah. Wait till we're all there. Uh, ch the chapter master kind of. I think of what other things chapter masters can do. Uh... You think you have grenades of some kind? Well, that's every marine has space grenades, but they run out of ammo, remember? Nice. Oh wait, there's that ball thing. Ball thing? Yeah, they can summon like a ball from a pure psionic energy. Or is that the chaos that do that? Uh, it's fine. Who cares? All right. Uh. So... It shoots into the middle of this group. It causes a pretty good explosion, killing all these ones. All right, Gareth. Oh, he actually continues. All right. Him, but Oh, I didn't. Oh and shit! Oh, sorry. I didn't have yep. these guys actually do their thing. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So this one would attack you. He's only gonna be able to attack twice. Oh, right. are you? Are you? Were you not actually in front of him? Well, uh, I was like down here. Uh, if he wanted to go after me, he could. Oh. Alright, misses both times. This guy. I actually should have added a four to that. Uh, all right, so isn't able to actually penetrate either of their armor. 
All right, go ahead. Sorry. All right, so uh, I figured you can handle that. So again, uh, I was gonna go to where I was. Um, and since these guys are coming through, uh, I'm gonna again try to slow this one get down. You kind of like cut through its leg like, a little bit, but it doesn't slow it down. Alright. Uh, Brandis? Alright, uh. Is this a chandelier right here? Oops. Um. One, two, four. No, but that could be. That's, I mean, that's kind of <laughs> where it would be located if it was there. So, yeah, if you want it to be. If it's a chandelier, you, it's gonna be a chandelier. It would probably be right there, yeah. Uh, Brandis fires at it to uh, take it off the root, the ceiling, and push it into these guys. Hey DM, can I bullshit? Yes, you can bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so because of the chandelier being there. I mean, it was in the picture. I mean, it was, it was there in the picture. That's the thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Like, oh yeah, it was. I completely picture. forgot about the picture. All right. All right. So you see, so after you hit it, you cause the entire. Like thing to kind of crush this guy as some of the some of the rocks from the ceiling. Oh, hi there! Hi. Oh, hello there! <laughs> that was an accident. I think you meant to uh, copy this one. <laughs> some of the rocks More copy ceiling. pasta. <coughs> All right. Rocks fall, Tyranids die. One of them dies. Tyranid dies. At the same time, there it is actually Syrenids coming from here, though, actually. There we go. Is that it? Yeah. Alright, Emeritol? Emeritol goes to try and finish off this thing, or see if he can try to. Uh, it is able to cut damage. through it, so... Yeah, it kills it. Where are you aiming? Alright. Uh... It depends. Uh, is it, am I only able to basically hit its torso? Face and, and, uh, the... and other arms. Alright. And its torso. Uh, so... First hit goes for it... Goes for its face and the other... Ah, uh, hit it. I hit my mic. Uh, sla slashes at its belly. So as you cut through its face, then it just immediately cut through its belly. It just like reels in pain as it just it, its guts pour out all over the floor, all over this nice, nice rug that you just completely ruined. Right. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> and then well, it was already ruined. I mean, right off. back over there at the end. That was... yep. That's why we're saying that. <laughs> Gonna shoot at the. Nope. That one hits. For a moment, I thought you said me. No. Uh, alright, so one of them hits. Right. I actually need to add a plus to that. Oh well. Uh, that's not actually enough to kill it, so it actually is. So he's gonna, he's gonna take an attack of opportunity. Thanks for that. He's not actually able to hit it though. There we go. Aura. I'm all the way over here. here. Uh, all I can do is get in the way. Space whale. Okay. Uh. I believe it was. This far away, I can go. So. Tyranids are coming Ooh. in. This one hits this guy. This one aims for leading. This one's 
just trying to hobble over there. How many fucking legs does this thing have? Uh, it has four legs. Oh, okay. It's a, it actually could have more or less, depending on its mutation. Because it's your nits. Oh, I didn't mean to put that entire thing over. Attack three times. This one's after you, lady. None Watch. of them hit. Wow. This one actually probably hits for the guy. He's only hit twice because he. Oh. <laughs> uh. So he hits while trying to hit him. He hits his claw directly into the ground and like pierces through the grating, causing himself to not be able to uh, get out. So the Chapter Master well, so he, activates he, he trapped, the... He trapped himself in the grating? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so okay. the Chapter Master opens the... Basically uh, finishes the uh, unlocking code. And uh, asks... <coughs> you. Machine. Thing. Yes? What are the coordinates of your ship? Um, I give him the exact coordinates. Thank you. He opens the door. Uh, alright, Kareth? Alright, uh... Alright. <laughs> and... Man, I cannot believe with a plus three I have not hit people this often. I can't believe with only a plus four I've hit people this often. <laughs> and, uh, I'm I gonna try to. Sh I'm gonna try to shoot that guy. Alright. Yeah. Wow, what the fuck? Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, so you. Uh, <laughs> where are you aiming? Uh, I was trying to uh, get it center of mass, so probably like. Closer to where its heart would probably be. If so it you had one. shoot shoot it right through the body, and it just like stumps over for a second, but then kind of gets back up. But it, it looks like it's having a hard time keeping its uh like spine in check because you've actually shot out its spine. Damn. Right. Uh, Brandis. All right. Brandis so flies like, back. It's probably and... like walking like uh, one of those Chinese movies where it's like. <laughs> On its back, with the claws out, and it fires up the w and Brandis fires up the tyranny closest to his brother. All right, the action is not hit. Uh, rip. Hell slays. <laughs> All right, yeah. Eratol. And Eratol slashes at the one in front of him. Oh, damn. Uh, this isn't the this isn't the one this is the new one right this is this is this one right here is the one that's trapped in the grate oh this one i know but which is the one that had no legs the one that's trapped in the grate okay okay all right uh so that one you did like a shit ton of damage you literally cut it basically apart but it, it's still it still like has so it's it's like one arm and a torso and a head right now <laughs> I take it. Uh, I take it. Uh, I can't back away after doing that. Uh, you could. You, you haven't moved yet. Yeah, you can run. You can't I run. I imagine I'm gonna take it. To, no, you can't. You don't get to run. Uh, it will take attack of opportunity, yeah. but it's gonna get a minus two to it. Minus one. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Doesn't hit. Ooh. Pretty high number though. Guys are trying to get away. Doesn't hit, and well, it isn't hit. Space Marines and they're having trouble. Yeah. I mean, Tyranids are pretty stuck and thick, so. 
Understandable. Damn, boy. That boy, that's a thick boy. Let's turn his raw thoughts. Give me one more shot left. That hive over there. <laughs> Wow. Uh, it would actually be two shots. Uh, so this one hits. This guy finishing it off by shooting it in the brain. Its its brains literally go out through the other end of its head and just spill across the floor, obviously ruining the nice rug that's behind it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I know we're in a... Uh... What about that rug? <laughs> what about that rug, guys? And this, uh, However, while this guy's trying to run away, he is attacked hit by this guy, so... I know, it's gonna take some of his 50,000 HP. <laughs> Actually, don't have as much HP as you think they do. Uh, oh, yeah, they've been probably fighting for months. Alright. <coughs> Alright. They're in a defensive stance again. This one sh is this one the one that's. Uh, I'm starting to lose track of which one's which. Uh, so this is the one that I can barely one, stand because this, this one's already. Alright, so this not. one shoots this one. And this one just gets shot in the face. Then let me see how much. This, damage. this one has no spine. This one's almost dead. Actually, that, that one's. Isn't really actually dead. able to kill it. Uh, all right. So it's a rose. So it needs uh, courage, heart, oh, and a that brain one's card. dead. Oh yes, sir. I am all the way over here now. I am making a run for it. Oh, flying for it. So you can distinguish them. Uh, Zula? Okay. The door's open now, by the way. Alright. And, and what we're guarding is in there, basically? or? So the warp drive is in there. Which you... The, ah. Which you need to place into the... I'm um, sorry. The um, warp device... The warp fuel is in there, which you need to place inside the warp device to cause it to um, blow up. Basically, <laughs> catapult yeah, the Space Hulk into the sun. Okay. So, um, so we gotta make sure that that happens, but also save ourselves and not go into the sun, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so where's the thing I need that this stuff needs to be delivered to? Uh, I can show you real quick. That's what it looks like. Oh, okay. This is inside. Alright, so this thing right here is the um, um, warp fuel. Or is it? That's the warp fuel. Or, that's, that's the warp fuel, and it's, it's got to get over to this thing. Core. Yeah. Okay. The warp so, uh, I guess uh, we'll start doing that. I'm going to pick it up in my robot hands. And, let's see. Take it as far as I can go. I've already gone a few feet, so. Yeah. You feel like a, um, you feel a hand on your shoulder saying that it's the uh, chapter master. <clears throat> Are you able to, make sure you want to do that? If you go out there, you'll melt. Oh? Like I said, it's a suicide mission. Perhaps not, then. Uh, out of character, isn't that body not 
Yes, but it's holding his central intelligence. Okay, fair enough. Also, he doesn't know that. <laughs> the chapter oh, master yeah. just assumes that he's a machine. No, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about Glenn himself. Well, I'm just thinking from a practical standpoint, if I melt, I can't exactly deliver it, can I? Yes. That too. Alright. Uh, turn it. It's not actually able to reach you. That means a flood. Oh my god, not the flood. Oh my god. Break down the barricades. There's such a vast amount that they actually take the, <laughs> the gun effects with it. No. There you go. Oh my god, we need to be playing Les Miserables music right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at all of them. Getting through all of them is going to be ridiculous. Alright. You can uh, see the uh, chapter master preparing a different type of spell. Well, that seems a little bit more localized. Uh, All of you, to me. And he heads inside the uh, door. Alright, Calref. Alright. So, will, will you allow me to move a little bit? Take a, take a shot and then move the rest? Uh... If I'm, going, if I'm going, like, right here and then right in here. That's like... Sure, that's less it's than not 20 that big a deal. And my it's max fine. is yeah, it's my fine. max is thirty. It's right. fine. So I was gonna go go right here, and I'm going to shoot at uh, this boy over here. Ooh, finally! <laughs> I miss. <laughs> it's a miss. And, and then I'll go inside the vault. Actually, he would probably consume this guy. Like, he's just fucking covered. Alright. Stop, drop, and roll. I'm sure he can handle a few guns. Yeah, a few hundred. Uh, <laughs> uh, Verandas? Just keep on rolling. Alright. So... Randis flies over and tries to clear as many of these things off of his space marine as he can. Okay. How far? Is he where is he flying? Hold on, let me just see if that... Yeah, that's within his range. Okay. <sighs> nope. Aritol. Uh, is this thing close enough to attack of opportunity me? Uh, it's pretty weak and it won't be able to attack of opportunity you. Alright, Inertal just books it. Alright. The first marines start heading away. They head inside. Most of them head inside, but one of them gets kind of caught behind. And he can't really get out. You can see if he actually gets out. Oh, damn, even with that? No, I'm saying that he, that's him getting hit. Oh, shit. He tries to get away. Pull! Oh, that's a lot of misses, but still one of them actually prevents him from moving, so... Yep. What about the critical fail? Uh, the critical fail is just like... I mean, I guess it just fucking dies. Like... Does it, <laughs> does it matter that, like, this, like, so It suddenly many. suffered a fatal heart attack. <laughs> I'm... I guess. I try to grab him by the bottom of his boot. I go into like the vault. Just knocks. Alright. Space whale. 
and he got saved on. Uh, okay, well, I'm already here, so... I... Defensive stance, I, I, there's nothing else, so... Yeah. Alright, well... I mean... <laughs> I think this guy's pretty fucked! <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd yeah. say so. You better overload his blaster. <laughs> well, if he has a loud gun. Ah, uh, yes. The old finger, finger down the barrel trick. <laughs> yeah. Just like Bugs Bunny. <clears throat> For the Emperor. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he just explodes. He just explodes and takes as many as he can with him. With the way they've been rolling, it's like two or three. <laughs> oh, that's so mean. <laughs> but it's true. It, it's true. Man. I mean, they kill like lions. The chapter master is a fucking lot of work. Well, I'm, I'm not talking about the chapter master, just the marines. Damn heavy bolters that have a bunch of dirt in them, I guess. Uh, all right. Well, everyone's inside the vault now, so. This is why you need proper maintenance of your weapons. <laughs> you guys close the door behind you. Uh-huh. Alright. So, Doom, the heat, is that, uh... Okay, I'm back. Whatever this is, is that, It's basically like... radiation. It's like okay. massive amounts of radiation. And heat. How would Protoss Shields handle that? You would be absolutely fucking destroyed. <laughs> okay. 
Yeah. Even Superman wouldn't be able to stand up to that. Yeah. Well, it's not Yellow Sun Radiation, so... <clears throat> well, in the original comics, it was just radiation in general that seemed to do a trick. Uh, I thought you were talking about current year Superman. No, no, I'm not talking about John Oliver. I'm talking, I'm talking old school. I don't even know when you think of me more about Superman. Um, he can do literally everything. <laughs> he's gone broken crazy right now. He's been broken crazy, what? It's just... I just don't know what to say anymore. Well, I'm not sure what you're referring to, but okay. Uh, everyone ready? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So as you guys know, you were inside the... Right next to the reactor room, basically. You're, the door behind you is shut with thousands upon thousands of tyranids behind you. Seemingly no way out besides to blow up the ship. I hold up both if he wants to take them both. He takes them both. Alright. So, um... Actually, I should probably do a knowledge thing on this. Uh... Alright, so, uh, it... From my knowledge, is this, uh warp core slash drive slash whatever is it behaving erratically uh no this is pretty normal so it's pretty normal all right so if it's pretty normal and that is deadly radiation outside there there should be some way to interact with the warp uh, with this warp thing from outside probably a console huh uh i guess because you don't... how would <laughs> i guess because you don't know this you... lore <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, so here's the thing with refueling a warp drive. The way they do it is they get a peon to basically drug himself up to a point where he can't feel anything. No. Oh. And basically send him off to push the warp core all the way in as it is a basically suicide mission, as his whole body just like deforms and slowly just turns to nothing. Okay, so how do they turn it on and shit? It's that same method, pretty much. So... Like, uh, oh, wait, so how, do they do they how do they turn on the warp drive? Is that yeah, how do they interact with oh, this? Oh, no, that, that's uh, how do they a different... It? It's like on the bridge and stuff. But refueling okay. it requires this. Oh, no, I was just wondering, like, if there was a way to, like, at least turn down radiation, but, but no. Alright. Hmm. Alright, who's gonna take the drugs? That chapter master starts pushing the thing. Through the door. Ugh. <sighs> honor serving with the old of you. But considering how many times I used the warp today, I doubt I'm going to be able to stay sane any longer. I'd rather die like a hero.
I'm sure your emperor looks upon you and smiles. Well, there's one more thing I can do. Thanks for the coordinates, Zulu. Oh. And he teleports we all, all of die. You onto the ship. I had a feeling he'd do that or something. Like you're like you can see you can still see him right now. You're like slowly turning it. And so you see him push starting to push the thing. Towards the uh actor. Never forget you, Chapter Master. You can see his uh yeah. He takes the two, uh, the syringes, put, 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 puts both of them in his hands, and just kind of just completely starts just pushing it as hard as he can. Uh, Verandas and Enratal both face him and salute them, salute him, whether or not he's looking, he's looking at them. Oh, he can't turn around. He's like completely dead right now. Alright. He, like, if he was to turn around, he'd waste enough time that he wouldn't be able to actually make it. Uh... Again, whether whether or not he actually can see them. <laughs> Never forget you. His skin, the, his armor starts to fall off as his skin is actually corroding to the point where this, the um, places where you drill the armor onto the flesh are actually coming apart. So his whole body is just, like, deforming. You can see some of his skin melt off him, and finally his helmet comes off, revealing his face. Which, to be honest, isn't as pretty as it used to be. <laughs> and as he keeps moving on, for him, time seems to stop as pretty much the drugs have fully kicked in, and he doesn't feel anything besides the sound. The feeling of just like melting away, which he actually is melting away right now. Yeah. yeah. And then, as he finally gets the warp drive, the warp um, fuel into the warp drive, you can hear just this giant wind up and just the thing fully like glowing as you all disappear and you see blackness as, this, as he just turns to pretty much liquid bones and all. Alrighty. Yeah. So the ship doesn't pull us with it with its other stones. Uh, no, it would. It, it got pulled. It, it would be going way too fast for that. For, for it to keep grip. Let me put you guys on the uh, bridge. You guys see this, or...? Yeah, yeah I see yeah, it. it. Alright, there we go. They'd probably be bigger than that. What would be bigger than that? Uh, the <laughs> Marines. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Just trying to... Trying to, like, make you guys smaller. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that was. Who boy, what a ride! <laughs> what that was something. All right. Well, I guess it's we're we're done. Okay. All right. All right. Did you guys enjoy it? Hell yeah! Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was great. It was great. Again, like I think the only thing is... I, I think the only thing I question is uh, the basic the basic bitch Tyranids having a plus three modifier to their head. <laughs> I mean, uh, these are these are compared to normal things. Like these are Tyranids, because... by the way, <laughs> that can because, cut uh, through Terminator armor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. That's why I could be crazy.
I'm surprised how well that went. Like, considering, like, you, I guess surprised you guys didn't get absolutely fucking shit wrecked. Yeah. I I'm surprised like, I got off as many shots as I did. I got Tyranids that and literally... There you go. I'm sorry, and uh, I can't believe that the fucking uh, Car Carnifax actually failed its sex save so I could breathe fire on it. Mm-hmm. You know, I have to. I have to think. Like this is just the lore thing. I know you, you get it from the lore and all that, so it's not your fault. But like, I know it's very grim, dark, and all that to have uh, somebody, some poor sap, have to drug himself up to push that thing in there. Is there literally no way to automate that? You you can't well, like, okay, have a little so, uh, they, toy system or something. They really don't like like automation at all warp core is made of like withstands the temperature pretty well so something can i th right i the closest thing they would have is servitors and since the, the there's a thing with like a uh, uh, a war with robots they i really like they have the an concept. extreme taboo against uh an extreme taboo against like any form of automation and stuff i know it's and so they're also, their uh, uh, technology is stagnated because the uh, Abductus Mechanicus really uh, aren't focused on creating any new things, so they are actively stagnating like pretty much any technological growth. It's complicated. Uh, yeah. You guys, you cut out a billion times and it only just came back in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, uh, machine he, bed. He, he didn't cut out from for me. Well, I'm uh, not even talking like robots. I'm talking like a, a like a pulley system, you, like like or like something. You you really don't need anything that complicated. It's it's just the other way. I, I don't know what to say. Other than I that. I have I, again. I had no idea about this war refueling thing, so that's the closest uh, uh, explanation I can give to you. It doesn't. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me either. But whatever. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It, it's just interesting, and I thought it would be kind of a cool way of doing this. Well, as I said, it's very grim dark, but it doesn't yeah. make sense to me. Uh, I guess I'll link you the YouTube video if you want. Maybe that has right. answers. I, I, mean, sure. I guess uh, why bother automating it if you can have like millions upon millions of things? I mean, of they have people just do it for you. Yeah, I mean they have shit tons of people on the ship that like are literally just pretty much livestock, so... I... I... I, I guess, but... Like, literally, the energy... to build the kind of thing I'm thinking would... Like... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the amount of energy you'd have to put into the drugs for that guy would not... would be more than it, the thing I'm thinking easy. of. It's very easy to get the drugs compared to the... I'm sure it is, but <laughs> the thing I'm thinking of is so dead simple. Well, I'm not sure what uh, what would happen before the whole uh, fall of the Imperium, but I know right now that even if you like were to make a clock without the Adeptus Mechanicus, they'd cry heresy and fucking kill you. Okay, but well, I'm not that... sure why. I know now, but I'm not sure why they didn't do it before. Okay. Well, see, see that some makes some a little more sense cult. if they're just crazy. If they're just crazy cult members, and that's why they refuse to do something. War Warhammer in general is just like crazy cult here, crazy cult here, crazy cult here, and crazy cult here. It really and it's since they've been doing it for so fucking long. Uh, there's there's like a, a I forgot what the saying is for the Adeptus Mechanicus, but it's like tradition is like before reason or something. It's like something like that. They've done it so many times that they can't change it. It's like huh. physically against their like law yeah, that you can't change anything. Oh my god! Yeah, the difference between the Canicus is pretty fucking crazy. And now you guys have three crazy people on board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll blow well, up the airlock at the still... earliest opportunity. <laughs> well, space Marines are a bit less crazy than a Dutch Mechanicus. I can tell you that. Yeah. A bit. <laughs> The problem yeah. is they have to rely on the Adeptus Mechanicus to make their ships and shit like that, so... It's true. It's kind of a... lose situation for the civilians. 
lose lose <laughs> situation for some reasons. Well, as long as all of humanity is fine, what's a few hundred million lives? Specifically, the, Emperor billion. Is the most important. <laughs> all right. Well, yeah, pretty much. Other than that, what do you guys think? Had a fun time. Fan. I'm glad I didn't I, uh, get absolutely fucking. Well, uh, during the siege, I was hoping. Uh, uh, it seemed like a lot of people weren't doing much. Like, uh, yeah. I was hoping that there'd be a bit more options for them. I mean, they can think of. Because I, I think uh, like there's only two, there's only two people who have like ranged attacks. Yeah, and mine wasn't I mean... mine wasn't even close enough to hit the the barrels. I mean, there was the thing aspect that, like, of just the impending doom. So it was that. I oh, mean, that was good. Actually but... came, that was good. Once it actually came, you guys were getting flooded and you were attacking, getting attacked, attacking and getting attacked constantly. So. Yeah. I I like that I was basically just a robot that stabbed people. It was great. <laughs> Buster steak knife. I, I I'm uh oh, what what what's his name uh from Futurama that crazy robot. Uh, uh I'm a I Oh I know I know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that guy. <laughs> I'm glad R and Jesus didn't 100 percent screw me over <laughs> for once <laughs> in this fucking campaign. I rolled a lot. And I'm surprised. Like, actually, some people, some of you guys got actually pretty decently low. But overall, it was yeah. surprising. The the only reason that Enrotal probably didn't get fucking killed is because he was able to regen his shields. Yeah, I figured that would which, help. Which 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 boosts his AC. Yeah, I figured that would help a lot. So. I decided not. Yeah, I had some tough moments here and there, but I had I had a fun time still. So. Granted, if basically anything hit, those shields would be gone. Mm -hmm. So, have we leveled up yet? I know I shouldn't be pushing it, but... What level are we it's not, This is out of habit. I'm we are, we would be one. level 2. At that point. Yeah, I would say you guys are probably <laughs> level 2 now. Yay! Yay! Hooray! And I didn't use my chef ability. Yay! <laughs> Hmm. That's... Ooh, I unlocked energy storage. <laughs> what? Wow. Oh, Verandas. So you get oh, Verandas. Oh, Verandas. Uh, I'm just gonna take my average. I'm not gonna roll. <laughs> you could do that as well, Lady, if you want. What's the... The average? The uh, a, once uh, on your class sheet, there should be a thing that says like hit points at higher levels. It should be your dice or something. Or five. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hmm. So there's no real point to me even rolling if I can just take that. Well, you could, you could get those three health points higher. Uh, you mean that one HP? hit point higher, because I have a minus two. <laughs> so, well... Uh, well, yeah, but it's still going to be a minus two for that, so you're still going to get three more than you would. So if you have a five minus two, then you'd only get three. Okay, so it's just... But three. if you have an eight minus two, then you, you would get six. Oh, okay. If it says plus your constitution, and it should, then that means it's also taking that thing. Okay. Uh, four plus three. Seven. 